Good morning. Last time, we learned together the meaning of subtraction, but what about learning the different ways we can use to subtract? Before we start, let's do our little warm up exercise to get our minds clear, relaxed, and ready for learning. This exercise is called doodling or drawing. Get a pencil and paper before you start. I'm going to present these two small circles in front of you. Now copy them on your paper. You have one minute to doodle or draw something using these two circles. Ready? Start! Once you are done, share your new image with family, siblings, or friends. And remember, when you feel you need to clear your mind, just draw a small shape or two on your paper and turn it into a piece of art. All you need is your imagination and creativity. Ready to start our lesson on subtractions? Let's go! In the storeroom, I found my father's toy cars when he was my age. Look how many toy cars I found! Ah! Eight small toy cars. I will give my little brother three toy cars and keep the others to myself. How many toy cars will be left with me? I take away three toy cars. Then I count the toy cars left with me. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five. Good! Five toy cars are left. This means that 8 minus 3 equals 5. Now let's write the subtraction sentence. 8 minus 3 equals 5. Do you notice that when we write the subtraction sentence, we write the total amount first? This way works if we have objects in front of us, so we hide the ones we want to remove and count the number of objects left. But what if we don't have these objects in front of us? What can we do? If objects are not in front of me, I can use my fingers. My fingers can help me to find the difference. I can use this way when I want to subtract small numbers. Look how. I want to find 5 minus 2. So, I show five fingers on one hand, and then I fold two fingers. So how many fingers remain? Let's count. Very good! Three fingers remain. So five minus two equals three. Now let's see what we do to find nine minus two. Let's do it together. We will use our two hands to show nine fingers first. Yes, we use our two hands. Then, how many fingers should we fold? Good! Two fingers. Now, let's see how many fingers remain. Count them. How many? Very good! Seven. So nine minus two equals seven. Now it is your turn. Subtract 8 minus 6. What should you do? Good! Show 8 fingers using your two hands. Now minus 6 means... That's right! Fold 6 fingers. How many fingers remain open? Very good! So 8 minus 6 equals 2. It is easy to use our fingers to subtract, right? That's it. We can take objects away and count what is left. Or we can use our fingers. But what if we use drawing? Can we? Yes. We can draw objects and then we can cross out to find how many are left. Let's see how. I want to find 10 minus 3, so I draw 10 rectangles. 
How many rectangles should I cross out? Very good. Three rectangles. How many rectangles are left? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Seven rectangles. So ten minus three equals seven. I can use another way to subtract. I want to subtract seven minus two. Look what I do. I have some candies. So I put seven candies in a bag, and then I take out two. How many candies are left in the bag? I count two backwards. So start from the total number seven, and go back two. Start counting backwards with me. That's six, and one more backwards, five. That's right. So I start with seven and count back two. So seven minus two equals five. Counting backwards can also help us subtract. Now let us count backwards to find the difference. To subtract twelve minus three, we count backwards three. Look what we have. A hen and her twelve little chicks walking behind her. Suddenly, three chicks walk away. So, how many chicks are left behind? Let's count backwards together to find the number of chicks left. Start at twelve and count back three. So, eleven, ten, nine. So the difference between twelve and three is nine. We say twelve minus three equals nine. As simple as that. Let's do some practice and count backwards to find the difference. Here is the first example: eleven minus four. Start with eleven and count four backward: ten, nine, eight, seven. That's it. Eleven minus four equals seven. Another example: nine minus three. What do we do? Good. Start with nine and count back three. So nine, eight, seven, six. So nine minus three equals six. We count backwards to subtract. What about using the number line to subtract? We can jump backward. Let's use the number line to subtract ten minus six. We jump to nine, to eight, to seven, to six, to five, to four. Yes, four is the difference. We find that ten minus six equals four. So four is the difference. Let's do some practice. Find the difference between eight and three. Start at eight and count backward and jump. Eight, seven, six, five. So five is the difference between eight and three. Now it's your turn to try an example using the number line. Find seven minus four. Good. It is three. How did you do it? Did you start at seven? Yes, that is the first number. And now make four jumps backwards: six, five, four, three. That's why seven minus four equals three. But wait, I have an idea. When I need to find how many more or how many less in two groups of objects there are, I need to compare the two groups. So why don't we connect objects? Sounds like a good idea, but how? Let's see.
I always help mom to set the table before having lunch. So I put a spoon and a fork next to each plate on the table. I have nine spoons and six forks. But the spoons are more than the forks. How many more spoons? I start putting one spoon and one fork next to each plate. Now let's see how many spoons are left with me. That's it. Three spoons. So nine minus six equals three. Let's connect objects to compare and find the difference now. There are six oranges and four bananas. So how many more oranges than bananas are there? We connect one orange with one banana till all the bananas are connected. Now how many oranges are left? Good! Two oranges. What does this mean? That six minus four equals two. Here's another example to see how connecting objects can help us compare and to find the difference too. Look here. There are eight hats and five eyeglasses. Are there more hats or eyeglasses? If we connect one hat with one eyeglass and keep on connecting, we will find that three hats are left. So the hats are more than the eyeglasses. Now, how many more hats than eyeglasses are there? That's it. Three more hats. And how can we write a subtraction sentence? You have done this before. Place the total number first and subtract five. Eight minus five equals three. So we can say that three is the difference between eight and five. I also find that the numbers eight and nine are close to 10. So why don't we use the 10 frame when we want to subtract eight or nine from numbers greater than 10? Does it help? Let's see. We want to subtract nine from 16. So we write the total number first. That's 16. And we subtract 9. Let's see. We know that 16 is 1 10 and 6, which means 1 10 frame full of counters and 6 counters. So if we take 9 from the 10 frame counter, we will have one counter left. And don't forget the 6 counters. So what do you say? Good. If we take 9 from 16, we will have 7 counters left. This means that 16 minus 9 equals 7. Let's do another example using the 10 frame. Find 14 minus 8. So one full 10 frame with counters and 4 more. We cross out 8. So how many are left? two, and the four outside the frame. Good, it is six. So 14 minus eight equals six. Here is one more example. What is the difference between 15 and nine? 15 means one full frame and five more. How many counters do we cross out? Good, nine. Now how many are left? You did it! One in the frame and five outside. This gives us six. So 15 minus nine equals six. In the end, I want you to find the difference using the different ways we have learned together. Let's start. First, let us find 9 minus 3 using our fingers. Very good. So 9 minus 3 equals 6. Now the second way. Drawing. Draw 9 squares and cross out 3. How many are left? Very good. 9 minus 3 equals 6. 
And third, let's count backwards. Nine minus three means counting backwards three. Start with eight, seven, six. Very good. So nine minus three equals six. Now, what about the number line? You can do it. Where do we stand? Good, on nine. Now jump, but forward or backwards? You know it. Backwards. We are subtracting. Jump three jumps. Where are you now? Very good, on the six. Do you see how all these ways give us the same answer? So every one of us can choose his own way to subtract and find the difference. But isn't there one more way we have learned? Right, the 10 frame which we can use when subtracting 9 or 8 from numbers greater than 10. You did a great job! I hope you have learned the different ways that can be used to subtract. You can now explain such ways to mom and dad. They will like them. And you can follow these links to practice and have some more fun. Thank you!